What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Oda Treasure. EDT, I'm Steven. In this video, I'm going to show you something that I think could be a grail find. Maybe a grail find. A Polo Cologne find here, guys. This is a great find. It's a Polo Cologne day. Polo green, whatever you want to call it. This is a classic that is uh, quite famous. It's one of the strongest, most masculine fragrances to come out the late 70s and all through the 80s. People rave about the Cosmere version. Don't have a Cosmere version in here. I have one before that. I have the original Warner version. This is a jumbo bottle. It's kind of interesting that I found this. It's about timing. So I can't wait to open this up. Ralph Lauren Polo Cologne. Let's check it out. This box is actually quite heavy because of this jumbo bottle that is almost full. Thank you very much for purchasing this, basically. All right, here it is. In all its glory, guys, this is a jumbo bottle of vintage polo cologne. Let's take a look at this thing. Let's look at the logo. This is the classic polo logo. It seems to be more detailed than the modern ones. And this one is actually in good shape, meaning it's not rubbed off. A lot of them get rubbed off on these used bottles, but not this one. I really think it's remarkable that for a splash bottle, usually when the alcohol splashes over these logos, the print on a lot of these vintage bottles, it fades away. But this one, this one still looks really good. Look at the cap. The first thing you notice is that this thing has a deteriorated or decayed. Look at how it has the line across the uh, center of the cap there. That's different. And if you look at the modern or the even the 80s bottles, it just has a brass colored cap that is um, smooth. It doesn't have this line to it. And I even think this neck or this, uh, I don't know what you call this, a collar piece here is a different shape just a few years later on these uh, polo bottles. Let's look at the bottom. Cologne, eight fluid ounces. This is a 236 ml bottle. Warner slash Lauren Limited. New York, New York. 10153. I mean, do you guys think this is fake? I don't think it's fake. I think this is the real deal. And this is quite defined. Have you ever seen anything like this? The reason I'm not saying that this is a grail, because I don't know for sure if this is the uh, first year. There is a batch code right here, and it's kind of hard to read, so I got the flashlight, so maybe you can see it a little bit better, but it says, there it is. Can you see the batch code right there? It says HF4. Just the fact that it says Warner Lauren on it shows you that this is from the late 70s to early 80s. I think you guys know all about this fragrance anyway, but I'll just tell you that this is 1978. Carlos Benheim is a perfumer, and I was actually looking him up. It's amazing. This guy has been in perfumery for like 45 or going on 50 years. So he has this to his name. Uh, this was probably his first success. Not sure about that. But he even has modern fragrances that are pretty well known. For example, Prada Luna Rosa Ocean or Spice Bomb Extreme. Calvin Klein Eternity for Men. Even Liz Claiborne Mambo for Men. I know you guys know what that is, right? So Carlos Benheim is actually quite famous for a lot of fragrances. I have a couple other videos on the channel about this Polo Cologne, but I don't know if I ever read the notes. There are a ton of notes, and I'm going to give myself a little bit of work for this video, but I feel like I should tell you what they are if you don't know. The top notes are juniper berries, basil, artemisia, caraway, coriander, and bergamot. The middle notes are pine tree needles, leather, chamomile, pepper, carnation, geranium, jasmine, and rose. And the base notes are tobacco, oak moss, patchouli, cedar, vetiver, musk, and amber, 
those are bass notes that are right in line with these old school masculine scents from the 70s and 80s that we love. I don't have any bottles with me right now to compare it, unfortunately, except for one. I have this one. This is from a mini set. I think this was in my Cacharel video, my decant video that you saw previously. This is a Cosmere version of Polo Green. So let's give it a shot. I'm gonna, this is a splash bottle, this one. I'm gonna put this on one hand. I'm gonna put this on the other hand. I'm gonna try to do the same amounts. And I'm gonna see if I notice any differences between this vintage monster here and one from the Cosmere from the 90s. On Fragrantica, there are a few reminds me of fragrances. If you guys are unfamiliar with this one, if you happen upon this video and you don't know about Polo Cologne or Polo Green, this smells a lot like Corum. There's a lot more thumbs up for Corum than thumbs down. The other one that people give a thumbs up to is Tom Ford Italian Cypress. Both Tom Ford Italian Cypress and Corum, by the way, were made by Carlos Benheim. Big surprise. So as you can see the level, this is actually quite full, right? This is almost nearly full. Maybe it was opened and smelled and used just a couple times. Who knows, way back when. I don't know if I can find another jumbo top to replace this one. Do you think there's any problem if I went out and found another jumbo bottle, an eight ounce bottle, or found an empty, somebody who's selling, you ever see people selling empty bottles and you laugh and wonder why the hell they're doing that? Somebody like me, I'd love to buy like a $10, maybe even 20 bucks to get an old bottle where I can replace the cap. What do you guys think about that? Do you have a problem with it? Should I leave the original one on? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. All right, let's crack this sucker open. I feel like I'm unearthing like a, a treasure that's been buried in like a treasure box or like this is something that came out of a shipwreck. That's what I think of when I look at this top. Here goes. I can just imagine like the sound of gas escaping when I open this thing up. Let me see if I can get the first whiff when this thing opens up. What a smell. What a scent. Not much different than the Polo Cologne that I know, but it's just this kind of, the alcohol. I can just definitely smell the alcohol in it. So I'm gonna put a splash of this on a little bit. That spilled out a little bit. Who knows how long that's been sealed before it was just opened right now. And now let's apply the, uh, the Cosmere version to my left hand here. Try to get the same amount splashed on this hand. All right, the first thing I notice, guys, is the color. It's still drying down, but this one actually has somewhat of a greenish color to it that the, uh, the 90s version doesn't have. I'm just call this one the 90s version. Maybe I should say Cosmere and Warner, right? It's a little bit green. And let me sniff it now and tell you what I think. Now, right off the bat, this is just my experience. And I know it's an often strange experience. What you expect me to say, I'm not gonna say. With this one, it seems like this one is a little bit stronger with the tobacco and the woody notes. And this one is like a skosh fresher. Just a little bit on the fresher side. It doesn't have that really harsh what I remember as being really strong because I've had some of the 90s and the 2000s spray bottles that you saw in the other videos. And by the way, guys, I have a video where I have the Polo, the bottle of Polo Green that has the plastic on the top, like the plastic portion here. I thought that was a very vintage fragrance, but as I keep looking and I keep seeing them online, I think that was released in the 2000s, guys. It's not a vintage bottle, or it's maybe just 20 years old at this point. Because if you look at the bottom of it, it says Ralph Lauren Parfums. It doesn't say Warner, it doesn't say Cosmere. So I think it was the next uh, that came after that, the next um, perfume company that came after that. So I'm guessing it's from the early to mid 2000s. And I find those to be really strong. And compared to these, these are just a little bit well-rounded, a little bit smoother. It's just the opposite of what I expected. Now, I don't have a lot of bottles of this around because I think you guys know my girlfriend absolutely hates it. Luckily, my girlfriend is not here today. She's not gonna be anywhere near me or my apartment, so it's not gonna choke her out. 
But I don't think these are that bad, these versions right here that I just put on my skin. Of course, it's a splash bottle. It's not a spray. But these, I could feel like I could wear out without pissing anybody off. Really nice, classic scent. You got the woods. You have the light tobacco. There is pine in there. Don't get citrus. Don't get florals. All those notes in there. I can't smell every note, but this is true masculinity. It's really cool. Two more things I want to tell you about real quick. Number one, how I got this bottle. The reason I picked this up is just by chance, and it's actually thanks to you guys, thanks to the viewers. I had somebody make a comment on that video I mentioned with the, uh, the vintage polo that has the plastic top, also has polo crest and polo explorer in that video. And that just got me thinking about this, and I went online and just started looking at the sales for some of these vintage ones, and this one popped up that day that I was looking. We're talking just three days ago as of recording this video. And there this was, this was sitting there. I think this, the guy was asking like 8,000 yen, which is about uh, like uh, $55 or 60 bucks, something like that for this. I looked on eBay and I was surprised to find for a fragrance that is still available in stores today, it's still in production. The vintage versions, the Warner and the Cosmere versions are going for a lot of money. I was shocked. At any size, a 44 ml bottle of the Cosmere version is like 50, 60, 70 bucks. The 100 mls and these jumbo ones, you're talking 200, 250 dollars people are paying for Cosmere versions that are new and clean. So what's this one worth? This 236 ml jumbo bottle. Anyway, I talked to the seller and I got the price down a little bit. I picked this up for 6,500 yen, which is about $43. How do you think I did, guys? Pretty good? Tell me what you think in the comments. Is this a cool fragrance? Is this a cool bottle to add to my collection? What do you think about this find, this treasure? Definitely a treasure. Give me a thumbs up and a like down below if you think this was a great video, if you like watching this video. And if you like my content, why not subscribe? I make videos about these vintage treasures that I'm finding here in Japan, discontinued vintage, rare and interesting fragrances. Some time has passed. It's been about 10 or 15 minutes since I've splashed these on. And now this one is lasting, seems to last a little bit longer or it's a little bit stronger than this one. That's not a surprise. It smells smooth to me. Like I said, it's different than the spray bottles that I've tried in the other videos that you've seen. And I really like this. That's all I got for you guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you're having a great day out there and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.